Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Akiyam out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line and your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, and Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be inspired by some reading out there earlier today. And we're going to focus on this first verse right here in uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1. And people are will read this and think that it's talking about uh, the actual heathen nations. And it's not because you have to understand the history and know why the apostle Peter was doing what he was doing right here in this first verse. He was actually talking to Israelites who had been scattered amongst all these heathen nations, you see. And that all goes back to the curses, you see, and, and it all goes back to the prophecies. It all goes back to what the Most I said he was going to do with his people because of their disobedience, <clears throat> you see. And this is why you had the men of the Lord going to all these different nations that was round about the land of Israel because our people were scattered in all those lands. And even more so to this day. Even more yeah, even more so now in this time because now you have people in every corner of the earth right now. And you have Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans living amongst them, thinking that they are these nations that they live amongst. And once again, it all goes back to the prophecy that the Most High has made about his people being scattered all throughout the world. So we're going to start here, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1. It says what? Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. You see, and these strangers is not talking about heathen nations because you got to understand. These scriptures were written and addressed to the Israelites, the Most High's people. And all people on the earth do not fall in that category. You see, the reason that the, the, the men of the Lord were going all throughout these different countries preaching this, uh, the gospel of peace. They were going and letting the Israelites know that everything that our, our, our heavenly father, Yahweh, has promised us through the mouth of the prophets, he's going to he's going to he's going to do. That's what the gospel is. The gospel meaning what? Good news for who? The Israelites, that the Most High is going to be faithful to all the promises and the oaths that he made unto us, that he made unto our forefathers. Now, when you get this word for scattered, it goes into what? Diaspora, right? Or diaspora. Strong's G1290. Diaspora. Diaspora. And it goes into what? A scattering, dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. Do you see? Then you got right here, it says, well, of Christians scattered abroad among the Gentiles. And when you get the true understanding of who the Christians are, this is talking about Israelites as well. It's not talking about you modern day pagan Christians. This is still talking about Israelites because it tells us that what? The, uh, uh let me see. Real quick. Let me see. Yep. Acts 11 and 26, it says what? And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples, who were Israelites, were called Christians first at Antioch. So we are the true Christians, man, the true followers of the Messiah. You see? It's not talking about you modern day pagan Christians. No, it's talking about the Israelites. And we have been scattered amongst all nations and it goes back 
to a curse, man. So this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 real quick because this is written multiple places in the scriptures. But we like to go to the curse to show you that this is something that we fell up under, man, that, that, that we are subject to according to the Most High's word. Now it says, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 64. It says, And I was, and, and Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth unto the other. Now, what, we've been scattered amongst these nations for generation on end, man, to the point now where it got to the point to where our people fell away from the understanding of who they were. And it happened during the time of the Greeks. That was the Hellenization of the Israelites. You see, the same thing happened when, when we fell into the Roman captivity. You had Israelites living amongst the Romans, calling themselves, this is why you have a book of Romans. <laughs> you, see, you see, you had those Israelites who fell away from the understanding of who we were. To walk into the to walk in the ways and customs of the heathen, and they raised their children up in those ways, generation on end, and eventually the understanding of us being Israelites, you see, had, had been forgotten. This is why you had the apostles going amongst these heathen nations, preaching the gospel to the Israelites who were scattered amongst the heathen, to bring them back into remembrance, to bring them back into uh, into the understanding of, of who we are. The God that we're supposed to be serving as Israelites and all the promises that our power has made unto us. Because you had our people scattered amongst all these nations. And what were they doing? And there thou shalt serve other gods, you see, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And with those gods comes customs. You see, wicked ways of living. Ways that the most I didn't give his people. But you, once again... Our people have been living amongst these heathen for so many generations. They start. They started to adopt the, the gods of the nations and the customs of the uh, the gods of these nations, and they taught their children these things, man. This is why you had the apostle Peter first and foremost go to Cornelius. Then you had the apostle Paul take up that mantle and be the apostle, of, the apostle of the Gentiles, and he was going through all these all these different lands preaching this gospel, man, bringing our people back into remembrance. Hey, we're doing the same thing now. Through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, we are, we are all throughout the earth. The prophets have been raised up and scattered all throughout the earth to preach this gospel to bring the remnant of Israel back into remembrance from wherever they are, man. This is why we tell you we're not black Hebrew Israelites because you're going to have our people who have been scattered amongst all these generations, I mean, all these nations for generations. You see, they're going to hear this truth, believe in, believe upon it, believe upon Yahweh Shah. You see? And they're gonna come back looking like all the nations we've been scattered to, man. And it's gonna it's gonna be mind blowing for a lot of people. This is why we don't accept the term black Hebrew Israelites, because our people are gonna come back like all, looking like all the nations we've been scattered to. And that's just common sense, man. That's just logical. You got the Israelites living amongst the Moabites. You think all the, the, the Israelites that's, that's gonna come from uh from amongst Moab is gonna be looking like LeBron James, no man. You're gonna, have, you're gonna have Israelites looking like Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, you see? So forth and so on. But they're gonna be actually be Israelites. So those are the strangers that the Apostle Peter is talking to. The Israelites who have been scattered amongst these heathen for generation on end. And according to the prophecy, the Most High has promised to what? He's promised to gather his people, man. But let's get another one, uh. About the scattering of Israel. Let me see. Let me see. It's got a full one. Oh yeah, right here, right here. Isaiah eleven, and we'll start at verse uh, eleven. Is verse eleven says what? And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set His hand again the second time to recover the remnant of His people. We shall be loved from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Amath, and from the islands of the sea. Why? It's because you have the Israelites dispersed amongst all these nations, man. Every nation on, on the earth, you're going to have Israelites amongst them, looking like those nations, and believing that they are those nations, but their spirit, they're what? They're Israelites. And they're going to hear this gospel. You see, it's going to resonate in them because they're Israelites. And if they're a part of the remnant, they're going to return back to the Most High no matter how they look. Can you see it right here? You're going to have Israelites coming back looking like Assyrians. 
You're going to have uh, Israelites coming back looking like Egyptians, the modern day Egyptians, and also the ancient Egyptians. You see? Which are the uh, uh, known today as what? The Sudanese people? You're going to have Israelites coming out of them uh, looking, like, j looking just like those people. <laughs> you see? You're going to have... E you're going to have Israelites coming from amongst, uh, who is Pathros? I can't remember who Pathros is, but you're going to have them coming from out of that land as well. A part of Egypt, look at that. <laughs> you see? And from amongst Cush. Cush of who? The modern day Ethiopians, they're Cush. You're going to have our people coming, looking like Cush, man. And from Elam, which are the, uh, known today as the, uh, the East Indians, you see, you're going to have our people coming from amongst them, looking like them, man. Guess what they over there doing right now? Probably over there worshiping Buddha, worshiping Shiva, all type of shit. You're going to have our people come from amongst every nation on, on the earth, man. Says what? And from Shinar and from Amoth and from the islands of the sea. You're going to have our people come back looking like uh, so-called uh, uh, Philippines. You're going to have our people come back looking like... The uh, so-called Samoans, you see, and the so-called Polynesian people, which are Japhet. It's not The Rock. <laughs> the Rock is an example of that. His daddy was a so-called so what? Uh, a so-called Negro, which is of the tribe of Judah, and his mom was what? Hawaiian. <laughs> so you're going to have our people coming back with those type of features, man. Looking like every nation under the sun. You're going to have our people coming from amongst uh, the, uh, the Moabites, which are the so-called Chinese. You're going to have our people come from amongst uh, uh, the Ammonites, which are the so-called Japanese. It's because we have been scattered to all these nations, man. We've been dispersed to the four corners of the earth, man. You see? This is the most I was working right here. This is why this gospel has to be pushed all throughout the earth so the end can come. It's going to give every Israelite a chance to hear it. At least the ones the most I want to hear it to hear it. Verse 12 says what? And and he shall set and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. From the north, from the east, from the south, from the west. Why? It's because he scattered us amongst all nations, man. So we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're just Hebrew Israelites, and we're gonna come back a every shade of brown. You're gonna have and you're gonna have Israelites coming back looking like Edomites, man. But deep in their spirit, they're Israelites. Their spirit is an Israelite spirit. You see? It's not that hard to understand, man. So, no, he wasn't talking about actual strangers. He was talking about Israelite foreigners who had been scattered abroad or dispersed abroad as a punishment from the Most High for our disobedience. Another one, let's get this in the book of James. It says what? This is uh, James 1 and 1. It says what? James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. The twelve tribes have been scattered abroad as a punishment from the Most High. He scattered us amongst all of our enemies, man. And as we lived amongst our enemies, you see, we, we took some of their women unto ourselves. And we popped them, laid seed in them, and they brought forth Israelite children. And those Israelite children are going to come forth with some of the features of these heathen nations we've been scattered amongst. Now, imagine that happening over the course of generations. Of course, they're not going to look like Israelites when it's all said and done. But, but it's all about the spirit, man. Now, when you go into this word for scattered right here, it's the same word that we read in 1 Peter. Right? There it is. Strong's G1290. Diaspora. Diaspora. The diaspora, right? The Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. You see, the most I told you this, man, but you're still trying to spin this false narrative of, uh, 
when the most I talks about Gentiles this and Gentiles that and they being brought into the fold, it wasn't talking about you actual heathen nations. It was talking about the most highest people who have been scattered. That's who's being brought into the fold, man. You see? Let's get a... What was I thinking about? Yeah, yeah. And while we were amongst these nations, what was going to happen? We were going to remember ourselves, man. Two and uh, let's get Baruch chapter two. Look at listen to this. Uh, two and uh, twenty eight. It says, "What as thou spake by thy servant Moses in the day, when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations." Where I will scatter them. You see, the most I scattered us amongst the nations. You see, and it says what? What was going to happen while we were amongst the nations? For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. This is what the most I said would be happening with his people. And why, why did this happen, man? It was all made possible through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. But the most I raised his prophets up in these last days to preach this gospel all throughout the earth. And those who are meant to receive it are receiving it and they're being brought back into remembrance. And they, and, and, and uh, they're hearing his word and believing upon it and they're being brought into the fold, man. No matter how they look. Because once again, this is not about skin color, man. This is about the spirit. And those Israelites that the Most High is programmed to receive this, they're going to receive it, you see, because it's going to resonate with them, man. Hey, that that's, that's happening down there in the Philippines. They're down there calling upon the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know why they're doing that? It's because they're Israelites, man. The Most High said his people will be remembering themselves here in the land of their captivities. And this is what's happening. Once again, this is not coincidence, man. The most I ordained this to happen from the beginning. It says what? Verse 31, and shall know that I am Yahweh their power, for I will give them heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And this is what we're doing. You see, now Esau is still trying to spin that narrative of a a black Hebrew Israelite, but we're telling you that's not the case, man. Our people are going to come from all the nations we've been dispersed amongst, looking like all the nations we've been dispersed amongst for all these generations. See, that black Hebrew Israelite thing is a false narrative that Esau is trying to spin so he can demonize it. But we're telling you, we're going to have Israelites coming from amongst all the nations looking like all the nations. You see? Now, and the most I even lets us know this through the mouth of Moses. This is one of my favorite ones to get. This is Deuteronomy 30. And uh and one, it says what? Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. Whether Yahweh thy power have driven thee, meaning what? We're going to remember ourselves in the land of our captivities. And once again, if this, if this, if these words resonate with you, man, you feel these words in you is because you're an Israelite, and it doesn't matter how you look. If these words resonate with you, you want the will of the Most High to be done. You see, you're in agreement with the doctrine that the true men of the Lord preach. Is because you're an Israelite, man. Because the heathen can't receive this because it wasn't given unto them. Hell, even two-thirds of our people can't even get it right now. But once again, you're hearing these preachings by the men of the Lord. You see, you're in agreement with it. It's because you're an Israelite. Because the heathen would not receive these words, man. Because they, they weren't given unto them to receive. And this is why you see them still trying to run with the false narrative of, of pagan Christianity. Because they're not dealing with the true understanding of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. This is why they're still thinking that the Gentiles being talked about in the New Testament is talking about all people and it's not. 
It's talking about the 12 tribes which have been scattered abroad. You see, who fell, who, who fell away into a Gentile state of mind, man. You see, but the most I has told us what? That we're going to call these things to mind amongst all the nations, whether he had driven us. You see, let's see what it says in the NLT. In the future, here we are, in the future, right? Deuteronomy 30 and 1. In the future, when you experience all these blessings and the curses I have listed for you, and when you are living among the nations to which Yahweh your power has exiled you, take to heart all these instructions. You see, we've been exiled amongst all the nations <laughs> for generations on end, man. Now, what does it say? Verse 2. And shall return unto Yahweh thy power, meaning we're going to repent, because that's the spirit that the remnant would be in. They would be in the spirit of repentance. Understanding and knowing that we are in this condition because of our disobedience. We're in this position because we fucked up. So what? When we hear this truth, this gospel, and what the Most High expects from us, we will walk in that spirit of obedience and repent and turn back unto him through faith in Yahweh Shah. You see? And we will what? walk in his ways as best we possibly can until Yahweh Shah comes to make us perfect. You see? So Deuteronomy 30 and 2, and it shall, and shall return unto Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, all, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all nations, whether Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. Now you think the most I just coming together black people? Just black people? No. He's coming to gather his remnant from the four winds of the earth, just like we read about in Isaiah 11. You see his remnant that's going to be scattered amongst all the nations abroad, man. Like the Apostle Peter told you, like the Apostle James told you. They weren't talking about uh, heathen being gathered. They was, they, hey, they, was pre they was preaching according to the promise that the Most High made. Of gathering his remnant from wherever they are on the earth. And guess what? They're going to come back looking like all the nations we have been scattered to, man. So this is not about a, uh, about color, man. That's some shit Esau can... He, 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 he spins because he, he can demonize it. And we know that, we know he's going to continue to do that because he's the damn devil. He's not going to tell you the truth. You see? But this is the truth of the matter, man. The most honest people are going to come at looking like all the nations we've been scattered amongst, man. Verse, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 4 says what? And if any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. You see that? It's telling you right here, plain and simple, man. Even though you are banished to the ends of the earth, Yahweh your power will gather you from there and bring you back again. You see that? And you think it's just going to be black people? No, man. It's going to be Israelites who have been scattered amongst all these nations, looking like all these nations, man. These are the strangers which are scattered abroad. Being brought back into the fold according to the Most High's promise. You see? Let's get right here. Um... And there's so many places you can go in the scriptures to get it. Because this, this is this is a narrative that's constantly repeated and reiterated all throughout the scriptures, man. Because the Most High repeats itself quite often throughout this book, man. And uh, it's one I wanted to get. Um, Yep, here it is. Let's see, it's uh, Jeremiah 31 and 10, it says, matter of fact, let's get 7 and we'll jump down to 10. It says, uh, shit, we got to get all this. Jeremiah 31 and 7, it says, well, for thus saith Yahweh, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Now, where are the... Now, where is this remnant going to be gathered from? Verse 8 says what? Behold, I will bring them from the north country, which is North America, 
and gather them from the coast of the earth. You see that? From wherever they are in the earth, according to the promise that was made, man. He promises that in Deuteronomy 30. Said the same thing in Isaiah 11. The apostle Peter alluded to it. The apostle James alluded to it. It's even in the book of Revelation. You can find it in Revelation 5 and you can find it in Revelation 7. That 144,000 and that great multitude, those are the, that's the, the Israelites. The governing body and that great multitude are the, are the rest of the Israelites who are part of the remnant, who have been scattered abroad. From all throughout the earth. The physical seed, the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. It was not talking about you heathen nations, man. You bastard nations. Jeremiah 31 and 8 says what? Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child and her that travail of with child together. A great company shall return thither. That's the great multitude, you see. You see the 144,000 and the great multitude. Verse 9 says what? They shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Most I never say he never says he's a father to all nations. Verse ten says what? Hear the word, O of Yahweh, O ye nations, and declare it in the eyes of far off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him. And keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. And this is why the Most High told his uh, disciples to go to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel, which had been scattered abroad. This is why he sent uh, the apostle Peter on his ministry, man, throughout all those different lands. To gather the scattered sheep of Israel. Once again, you heathen nations have nothing to do with this, man. That bullshit that you believe in is just that bullshit. It's false doctrine. It doesn't add up to what the scriptures say. The Most High is not dealing with the heathen nations, and he would never be dealing with the heathen nations. And salvation is not for you heathen nations. The salvation is for Israel. And Israel only, beginning with the remnant. Those who the Most High is going to save at the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. According to prophecy, according to the promise. According to the oath that the Most High has made. You see? Now, matter of fact, we can get in, uh, we can wrap it up in uh, Revelation 7. Now, when you go into Revelation 7, it goes into what? The 12,000 men from each of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which is the governing body, you see, of Israel. And it's going to be led by our Lord Yahweh. Shall we start at verse 4? It says what? Then we'll jump down. Revelation 7 and 4 says, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. <laughs> of the children of Israel. And, this, and these are the physical blood descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that have been preserved in the earth until this day. We've, we're still here in this earth until this day. See, all this madness and confusion that Esau is spewing has people confused. You see, thinking that all the bloodlines of the ancient world have been done away with. No, man. All the original bloodlines the Most High has created in the earth are still here today. The sons of, of, the sons of, the, of God are still here. The sons of man are still here. And the sons of the wicked are still here. Oh, like the scriptures tell you, there is no end of all the people. All the... Uh, the nations the most I created from the beginning are still here. Especially of the sons of God who's, who later became the children of Israel. So the 144,000 are the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The governing body of the kingdom of heaven. Now when you jump down here to verse 9, it says what? And after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and people and tongues. Now, when the Christ, these pagan Christians read this, you see, they'll say, look, it says of all people, of all nations. Why is, it, why is this being said? It's because you have the Israelites scattered amongst all nations. 
It wasn't talking about all nations being gathered. No, it's talking about the Israelites who have been scattered amongst these nations, the, uh, the remnant of the nation of Israel who has been scattered amongst these nations being saved according to the promises and prophecies that we read in the Old Testament. This is what, this is what the Most High said, said he was going to do when he, pro he promised to turn away our captivity. When he promised to come, in, he that scattered Israel shall gather him. This is, this is the fulfillment of that right here in Revelation 7. Because And then it gives you even more proof when you go into the word of kindred. Is what? Fule. Strong's G, 5443. Fule. Fule. Right? And it says what? A tribe in the New Testament. All the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. These are Israelites that's being written about right here. Why? Because it fulfills the prophecy of the Most High coming to gather his people from all the lands that we have been scattered to. You see? This is the fulfillment of it. I shall come and gather you from the ends of the earth, from the four corners of the earth. From the north country and from the coast of the earth. To the strangers scattered abroad, greeting. To the twelve tribes scattered abroad, greeting. This is the fulfillment of the scattered Israelites being gathered. The remnant of the scattered Israelites being gathered. This is what it is right here, man. The descendants of one of the twelve sons of the patriarch Jacob, which are who? Israelites. Fulfilling the words that the Most High spoke through the mouth of the prophets. Has nothing to do with you heathen nations, man. And we're going to keep going into these same things over and over and over again, man. We're going to continue. <laughs> hey, like I say, uh, don't beat a dead horse. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to beat the hell out of this horse, man. Because this is just the truth of the matter. So you either might have gotten away with being able to push this bullshit ass uh, doctrine for so many centuries. Now it's over, man. The Most High has raised up the true men of the Lord in the earth, and we're telling the truth through the Holy Spirit. It's gonna, and it's going to cast down all the lies that you Edomites have propagated ever since you came into power during the time of the Renaissance, man. Pushing that damn madness, having a confusion the entire earth. Hey, well, hey, the prophets are here to set the, to set the record straight through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see? So the strangers who are being gathered are who? Israelites, according to the promise the most I made through the mouth of the prophets, man. And so, Lord willing, that was edifying to the elect because that's what we do it for. And we're going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of the out there. Pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba.